with Earth Day upon us, Al Gore is hailed as a a, a hero, hailed to the hero. Um, but I don't know. I just, sometimes I just wonder if Al could just get past the zero of, well, you know, he's the big opponent of global warming, and you know, Earth Day is here, and and he gets the Nobel Peace Prize, but. I consider it the No Tell Please Prize, uh, and Nietzsche, the great philosopher, was saying that uh, uh, the action of going vegetarian is probably greater than uh, all the philosoph- uh, philosophical remarks that uh, one can make. Uh, at least that's my philo- philosophy too. So, anyway, now for Earth Day, Go Vegan Radio with Bob Linden challenges Al Gore to put his actions where his mouth is. I challenge you, Mr. Gore, Mr. Real President, to go vegan now, to freeze global warming. I challenge Al Gore, and I challenge you also, if you're serious about solving global warming, go vegan now. Anything else is just lip service. Uh, Actions speak louder than words. Mr. Gore, go vegan. Set the example. Uh, If you, Mr. Gore, are a foremost expert on global warming, certainly you know that meat-eating and dairy cause more greenhouse gas emissions than all transportation combined, cars, trucks, boats, planes. And that's from a United Nations report, not a vegan organization. Um, And if you don't know this, Mr. Gore, then maybe you're not the foremost uh, expert on global warming that we think you are. Um, If you are uh, aware of this report, Mr. Gore, why are you not vegan yet? Sorry, Mr. Gore, it's not enough for you to uh, recycle the wrapper from your Oscar Mayer wiener package. I challenge you for this Earth Day, Mr. Gore, go vegan. Certainly you're aware of the University of Chicago report that shows that you decrease carbon emissions more by going vegan than by driving a Prius. And especially at this speed, your son has been known to drive a Prius, Mr. Gore. Uh, Certainly you know of methane, Mr. Gore, and nitrous oxide. And, uh, well, uh, Mr. Gore and uh, anybody else who's interested in saving planet Earth can go to earthsave.org for Noah Moore's report, A New Global Warming Strategy, How Environmentalists Are Overlooking Vegetarianism, meaning veganism, as the most effective tool against climate change in our lifetime. And uh, in it, uh, Mr. Moore says, uh, by far the most important non-CO2 greenhouse gas is methane, and the number one source of methane worldwide is animal agriculture. Methane is responsible for nearly as much global warming as all other non-CO2 greenhouse gases put together. Methane is 21 times more powerful a greenhouse gas than CO2. While atmospheric concentrations of CO2 have risen by only uh, by about 31% since pre-industrial times, methane concentrations have more than doubled, whereas human sources of CO2 amount to just 3% of natural emissions. Human sources produce one and a half times as much methane as all natural uh, sources. In fact, the effect of our methane emissions may be compounded as methane-induced warming in turn stimulates microbial decay of organic matter in wetlands, the primary source of the primary natural source of methane. With methane emissions causing nearly half of the planet's human-induced warming, methane reduction must be a priority. Did you hear that? With methane emissions causing nearly half of the planet's human-induced warming, methane reduction must be a priority. Methane is produced by a number of sources, including coal mining and landfills, but the number one source worldwide is animal agriculture. Animal agriculture produces more than 100 million tons of methane a year, and this source uh, is on the rise. Global meat consumption has increased fivefold in the past 50 years and shows little sign of abating. About 85% of this methane is produced in the digestive processes of livestock, and while a single cow releases a relatively small amount of methane, the collective effects on the environment of the hundreds of millions of livestock animals worldwide is enormous. An additional 15% of animal agriculture methane emissions are released from the massive lagoons used to uh, store uh, untreated farm animal waste, and already a target of environmentalists for their role as the number one source of water pollution in the U.S. 
Oh, it's torture to a true environmentalist to hear uh, uh, such nonsense as as we can save the environment by by changing the light bulb or or uh, you know we'll, we'll trade uh, charbroiling carbon credits with someone who steams vegetables or or Bush came out this week what what were what were his plans he said what he wants to decrease greenhouse gases so uh, no more broccoli and lentils uh, before Dick Cheney goes gardening I, I don't know what Bush is talking about who. Who can possibly understand him? But we want to understand the environment. We want to understand what we can do uh, with Earth Day upon us uh, to save the environment, and that is to go vegan. Uh, go to vegforlife.org uh, or um, uh, biteglobalwarming.com. Uh, meet a destructive force on the environment, huh? Well, uh, how about uh, the main contributor to desertification in the western United States is livestock grazing, transforming fertile land into desert-like environments. Huh? 300 million acres, uh, more than 50% of forests and rainforests worldwide, including 300 million acres on American soil, have already been cleared for livestock grazing or animal feed crops. American factory farms produce an estimated what's almost 800,000 tons of manure per day. Manure from these operations contain multiple pollutants, such as heavy metals, antibiotics, pathogens, and nitrogen and phosphorus. Through manure lagoon leaks or spills and runoff from uh, saturated fields, these contaminants enter into the environment and threaten water quality across the country, often finding its way into the groundwater supply. Manure contamination can lead to dangerous levels of nitrate uh, in our uh, sources of drinking water, among other serious health complications. High nitrate levels can uh, greatly harm infants by reducing the amount of oxygen carried by their blood. Uh, and it, it, it's killing aquatic life. There's a uh, 7,000 square mile dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico from uh, agricultural runoff. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's, it's just a mess. Our planet is a mess because of the most destructive environmental um, Forces, meat and dairy. So be a true environmentalist for Earth Day. Please go vegan.